It's a one second exposure. I don't like my chances of those turning out very well. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. All right, that's a half a second. Those stand a chance, at least. Blurry, 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 maybe, blurry, blurry, maybe. Anyway, that elk has moved on. Oh, good morning. How are you doing? Uh, it's pre-dawn, although it looks pretty bright out here now. Uh, it's not very bright out. So I'm shooting half second and one second exposures on elk as they're walking through the sage this morning. It's super smoky, can you tell? I can barely see the mountains. I'm right up at the base of the mountains. And uh, we've got tons of forest fires in uh, to the west of us, California, Idaho. And uh, we're really filling up with smoke here in the valley. So I'm uh, out doing some photography today. I'll check back in with you in a minute. I've only got a very limited window of time here to photograph these elk. When it starts to get light out, they just head for the heavy timber this time of year. And uh, so I gotta be, maybe the next 10 minutes is all I've got left to photograph these elk. So I'm gonna focus on that and then I'll get back to you a little bit later. Grizzly Bear Jam, $3.99, our superhero grizzly bear and her cubs. So I'll get out and make some photos. I'm gonna get on the tripod for this with the 600. made us get back in the car here. The bears are a little too close to the road. And they're back there, so I'm waiting, hoping they come out. And I can shoot out my window or out the sunroof here. But that's a great way to start the day. Still waiting. Hey, can you see Brandon back there? 
Looks like he's doing an Instagram story or something. In the, you see him back there? What's up, Brandon? Caught you. Busted. Instagramming. Uh, anyway, I'm still waiting. Hoping that the bears cross the road and go down to the water here. Uh, I'm starting to lose hope a little bit, though. Just thought I'd give you an update. And uh, try and capture Brandon selfieing back there. There he goes. That was pro-level selfieing. And I know pro-level selfieing. Next stop, bison. Uh, got a nice big herd of bison. Some just ran across here. I'm uh, gonna hop out of the car. They're far enough away. Get down a little low and i'm gonna try some motion blur same thing i think i talked about this last time i think i'm losing my mind because i've done so many videos i forget what i've done and i haven't done but i've got a variable neutral density filter on here so i'm doing between a quarter of a second and a full second of exposure and this whole herd is just kind of traversing across the scene here and so i'm trying to do motion blur as i pan with them during that half second or a second exposure depending on how fast they're going like these guys are running Second is too much. I'm gonna to go to a quarter of a second while they're running. And they stopped. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna actually get out of the car and do this so I can get down a little bit lower. Uh, nice big bull and a cow right here. So I'm gonna do that before they get out of the way. I dig that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the motion blurry look I'm going for. Uh, and then the tricky part is getting enough of their horn or their eyeball sharp that it actually looks pretty cool. So I love the motion blur in the legs and then the way it just simplifies all the clutter of the grass in the background. So that's what I'm going for. And then it's kind of a one in a thousand type of shot because there's so much... Uh, it's so hard to pan perfectly because their eye is kind of moving up and down as they're traversing. So you kind of got to get lucky with your pan to match exactly that eye during that quarter second or a second or whatever. So uh, anyway, I have a great time. It's super fun doing it. And I'm going to continue to do it for a while out here. Uh, that's a tough guy coming through. I don't know where he's going, but he's tough. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of your way. Uh, I don't know if can video camera even see Ralph there. I don't think so. But anyway, that's my friend Ralph over there. He came on the winter workshop Yellowstone last year, and I think he had a good time. Yes. <laughs> he confirms he did have a good time. Uh, anyway, so that's Ralph. Uh, do you have an Instagram or anything? No to plug? No, no Instagram plug? All right. No plugs for Ralph. Anyway, he's a hell of a good guy, but he doesn't want any plugs. So. Do a website. A website? What's Ralph's website? www.ralphtyreephotography.com -E -E All right. Ralph Tyree Photography. R-A-L-P-H-T-Y-R-E-E Photography.com Check out his stuff. He's from Kentucky, so, you know, he comes out here. So it's going to be different than just normal Teton stuff, although he does have some Teton stuff in there, too. So check out his work. 
and uh, I'm going to get back to doing photography. That's it. Sun went down. There's still a sliver there. Hold that thought. Sunset. It's lovely. Fuji GFX. Also lovely. Hey, I wanted to say good night. I'm done with the day. The sun just went down. It, so it was a busy day out here. The bears were out in like crazy fashion. Um, some mediocre photos of that, I think. It's, it, it's been a long day. A lot has happened, so I can't really remember. Uh, but anyway, the bears were out. That was like the highlight of the day. A um, lot of time spent in bear jams. We also got in a pronghorn jam and a bison jam. I worked on some more motion blur bison photos. Hopefully some of those turn out, because I'm, I'm sure having fun trying. And what else? There was, uh, of course, the woman, the fisherwoman. Um, oh, Stephanie and I went out on the lake, and there was some paddle boarding that happened. There might have been some skinny dipping that happened. We'll have to ask Stephanie. No comment, apparently. Uh, anyway, there's a person coming, and I've got vlogger fright. Sorry about that. I got vlogger fright. Some people were coming, and I panicked. I had to turn it off. So I forgot where I'm at. Uh... What happened today, right? I think maybe the highlight of the day, well, there was a lot of highlights, but a really good part of the day was when I got free cookies, homemade baked cookies from Mike and Trish. So thank you guys. I don't even think they watch my YouTube channel, but thank them anyways. They are fantastic. Uh, and that's gonna wrap up for today. Sorry, I'm rambling on here. I do wanna mention Africa in 2021, February. Myself and Sue Cedarholm are leading another trip there to Kenya and Tanzania. It's going to be awesome. Details are now available on my website. Finally, we got everything dialed in. So uh, come join us on that. It's fantastic. And then uh, once you're done with that, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Good night from Grand Teton National Park. A wonderful Saturday. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to get up and do it all again. Me and Stephanie. That's my, she's my fiance now too. So if you made it this far in the video, now you know, that's my fiance over there. I think I just embarrassed her. See ya.